Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to review addition and subtraction, but let's get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie. Today we're reviewing addition and subtraction. All right, let's get started right here. Okay, here's our number line. Add or subtract as indicated. Let's warm up with four plus five. Okay, let's enter four units to the right to enter the four. And addition means move to the right and let's add five. And so we obviously get nine there, right? Okay, now let's move on. Here's negative four plus a negative five. So to enter a negative four, we got to move four units to the left, right? And now we're going to add a negative five. Well, addition means move to the right, but when you add a negative number, remember it forces you to the left and we got to move five more units and we do get negative nine here, right? Okay, and that is the answer. Now, some of you were taught, hey, when you add two numbers that are negative, you add the magnitudes together and put a negative in front, right? In other words, you do four plus five and put a negative in front and you get negative nine. Well, we're just showing it on a number line, right? Okay, now, how about this one? Negative four subtract five. Well, let's enter a negative four on the number line. Okay, now subtraction means move to the left and if we subtract five, right? Obviously, we end up at negative nine. It's the same answer as the one before, right? Well, why is that? Well, some of you use the definition of subtraction, which says subtracting five is the same as adding a negative five, right? And so some of you will go ahead and rewrite it as negative four plus a negative five. It's the same as this one before, right? And the answer is negative nine, right? Well, let's look at this one over here. Negative four subtract negative five. Well, again, if we use the definition of subtraction, we say negative four plus positive five, okay? And we can do this on the number line. Let's enter our negative four. And now addition means move to the right. Five units, and watch what happens here. We do get one, and there you go. So that's a quick review of addition and subtraction on a number line, right? All right. Now practice with the number line and try to avoid using the calculator as much as possible, okay? All right, Charlie, let's move on here. Let's do some addition and subtraction problems. Negative four plus five subtract 17, okay? Let's do this without a calculator. Well, we gotta follow the order of operations. Well, five subtract 17, we should know five subtract 17 is a negative number. So we're gonna use some Kung Fu here, watch. We're gonna say, oh, I don't like doing five subtract 17 but I can do 17 subtract five. Well, if you do that, you gotta multiply by negative one, or in other words, find its opposite, right? And so 17 subtract five is what, Charlie? 12. 12, what's the opposite of 12? Negative 12. Negative 12, or what's the additive inverse of 12? Negative 12, that's right. What's negative one times 12? Negative 12, any way you wanna say it. So if 17 subtract five was 12, then five subtract 17 was negative 12, right? Okay, now let's bring down our work. Negative four plus a negative 12 is what, Charlie? Negative 16. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay, let's do another one here. Negative seven, subtract the absolute value of negative five, subtract three. Order of operation says we have to do the absolute value. Well, negative five, subtract three is a negative eight. Again, some of you like to use the definition of subtraction and say negative five Subtract three is the same as negative five plus a negative three, right? Don't forget to bring down your work. Negative five plus a negative three is negative eight, right? Bring down your work. Again, order of operation says we have to calculate that absolute value first. What's the absolute value of negative eight, Charlie? Eight. That's right. Bring down your work. What's negative seven? Subtract eight, Charlie. Negative 15. Negative 15. That's the same as saying negative seven plus a negative eight, right? Which is negative 15. All right, Charlie, now, negative six, subtract the quantity, negative four plus a negative five. Again, some of you see negative four plus a negative five is negative nine. Or some of you may see it the other way, negative four plus a negative five is the same as negative four, subtract five. Either way, you will get negative nine. Don't forget to always bring down your work. Now, notice here, we are subtracting a negative nine. Well, Definition of subtraction, okay? Subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So we'll say negative six plus nine. All right, now what's negative six plus nine, Charlie? Three. Three, negative six plus nine is obviously a positive three. 
All right, now let's go back to some word statements here. Write a word statement for the mathematical expression. Negative six plus nine, right? Normally we say negative six plus nine, but how can we write this in a more formal statement or say it? We can first define it as the sum. The sum of what two things, Charlie? Negative six and nine. Negative six and nine. We could also say nine more than negative six, right? Okay. We could also say negative six increased by nine. Okay. And Charlie, what is negative six increased by nine? Three? That's right, it's three, right? Let's do a number line. Negative six plus nine is a positive three. All right, Charlie, now let's do another one. Five subtract 12, right? Well, let's. How else can we say this, Charlie? The difference. The difference, that's right. It's a difference of 5 and 12, okay? We could also say 12 less than 5, right? 12 less than 5. All right. Now, we could also say 5 decreased by how much, Charlie? 12. 12. Very nice there, Charlie. And now, what is 5, what is five decreased by 12 going to be, Charlie? Negative 7. Very nice. Notice 12 subtract 5 is 7, and therefore by Kung Fu, 5 subtract 12 is a negative 7, right? All right, Charlie, now let's write a mathematical expression for the given word statement 15 more than the difference of negative 6 and 9, okay? All right, Charlie, here we go. Let me turn on the voice activation system again, and then you can read and it'll translate. Go! 15 more than. The difference of negative six and nine. Very nice there, Charlie. Very good. Okay. Now, order of operation says we have to do the parentheses first. Remember, negative six subtract nine, Charlie. That's the same as doing negative six plus a negative nine. What's the answer? Negative 15. Negative 15. There you go. And what's negative 15 plus 15? Those are additive inverses or opposites of each other. And when you sum those together, you get what, Charlie? Zero. Very nice there, Charlie. That was a good lecture. Anyway, let's take a break, and we'll see you all again soon.